Hey everyone, this is Dr. Mungli. So today's question is about calculating the number of carbon dioxide, ATPs and NADPH plus H plus used during de novo biosynthesis of fatty acids. The fatty acid uh, is taken here in this particular question as an example is a very long chain fatty acid and that is lignoceric acid which has got 24 carbon fatty acids. The question is how many number of carbon dioxide, ATPs and NADPH plus H plus consumed in net to make lignoceric acid. So in order to understand this particular question, so let me take example of uh, palmitate, a class that we all study in our textbooks and we'll interpolate using that information to lignoceric acid. So just to give you a brief uh, uh, overview of fatty acid biosynthesis. So it all starts from acetyl-CoA. So the acetyl-CoA which is converted to melanyl-CoA by acetyl-CoA carboxylase enzyme. So acetyl-CoA carboxylase is a regulated and rate limiting enzyme for fatty acid biosynthesis. So during this reaction, so since it's a carboxylase as I always say, Carboxylases, they need A, B, and C. The requirement is A, B, and C. A for ATP, and ATP is given here. B for biotin, biotin is not written here, so that is the vitamin that is required for carboxylases, and then carbon dioxide. So there is use of one ATP here and one carbon dioxide here in acetyl CoA carboxylase reaction. So you get melanyl CoA. Melanyl CoA. It gets into fatty acid synthase complex and fatty acid synthase complex it has got 16 subunits and each of these 16 subunits are divided into functional division it means there are two uh, a set of enzymes in fatty acid synthase complex and there will be synthesis of two fatty acids at a time in fatty acid synthase complex now melanyl CoA which gets into fatty acid synthase complex it will be condensed with acetyl-CoA and there will be release of carbon dioxide during this time. So whatever the carbon dioxide that was consumed here to make melanyl-CoA from acetyl-CoA, same carbon dioxide can be released here in this particular reaction. And also note that there is a use of two molecules of NADPH plus H+. So with this condensation and decarboxylation reaction, so you are going to get four carbon molecule. Now this four carbon molecule will un also undergo a repetition of condensation, decarboxylation reaction, reduction, dehydration and reduction. This is the sequence of reaction that will be going on in each of these spirals now. That is condensation and decarboxylation. It means melanyl CoA is going to be condensed with this four carbon molecule now. Then there will be reduction during that time there will be use of NADPH plus H plus. Then there will be dehydration and there is one more reduction by enyl CoA reductase enzyme. Again there will be use of one NADPH plus H plus. It means in each spiral there will be use of one NADPH sorry two molecules of NADPH plus H plus used and there will be release of one molecule of carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide is coming from the melanyl CoA which is entering into each spiral because that is a donor of two carbons in each of these spirals or the cycles you can call whatever the way you feel like or you want to. Now at the end of these reactions you get six carbon molecule. Now six carbon molecule again will undergo another cycle or another spiral and may give you eight carbon molecule like this. So see uh, 8 carbon and then 10 carbon, 12 carbon, 14 carbon and then you get 16 carbon molecule and that is a palmitate. So palmitate acyl, uh, acyl carrier protein, then palmitate thioesterase breaks it and release palmitate which is a 16 carbon fatty acid. Now for 16 carbon fatty acid, so there are 7 spirals that went on here and that is number one spiral here this is number one spiral then we have number two spiral number three here number four number five number six 
and number seven so now seven spirals or seven cycles went on here and for so it means seven melanyl coas are used in this particular reaction and each spiral will consume two nadph plus two h plus it means so far we have consumed seven nad uh, 14 nadph plus 14 h plus molecules if you talk about how many acetyl coas are consumed to make a melanyl coa you need an acetyl coa here and also in the very first spiral as you can see here one of the acetyl coa is directly used so it means we have used seven melanyl coas it means we have consumed seven acetyl coas plus an additional acetyl coa here so that is eight acetyl coa molecules all right so the carbon dioxide that is consumed in acetyl coa by carboxylase reaction so it, to make melanyl coa so as you can see here so in each of these spirals or cycles the same carbon dioxide is released here so as you can see there are carbon dioxides released so it means carbon dioxide is never incorporated in a palmitate formation so so we have made a 16 carbon palmitate here and the equation is given so eight acetyl coas are used seven atps are used 14 nadph plus h plus used and there will be release of all those carbon dioxide molecules that were incorporated which is not shown in this particular equation so now what we will do is we will interpolate this information into 24 carbon lignoceric acid so how to do this so there is a technique to do this so let me explain you that part now so in order to uh, get the number of atps that are consumed and number of nadph plus h plus that are used first thing we need to know is how many spirals this particular fatty acid takes to make that complete fatty acid so as we have seen in the previous slide so we have made a 16 carbon palmitate so you need to divide that 16 carbon by 2 because each spiral we are using two carbons coming from melanyl coa so 16 and also uh, two carbons are there in the acetyl coa molecule so 16 divided by 2 so you get number 8 okay it means we have used eight acetyl coas in total eight acetyl coas eight acetyl coas are used now if you want to know how many melanyl coas are used note that melanyl coa is used in the first spiral to seventh spiral in 16 carbon fatty acid synthesis so to get a number of melanyl coas and also to get a number of spirals what you need to do is you take this number eight and subtract one from it so you get seven so your answer will be seven here so you get seven and it means seven melanyl coas are used melanyl coa and also you get uh, it means you are going to use 14 nadph plus h plus why because each spiral will consume 2 nadph plus h plus so 7 multiplied by 2 so 7 multiplied by 2 so you are going to get 14 as your answer so 14 it means 14 nadph plus h plus used here and now how many carbon dioxides are consumed during this process so there is no carbon dioxide consumption so our net carbon dioxide consumption because whatever the carbon dioxide that is consumed by acetyl coa carboxylase it is the same carbon dioxide that is released during the first condensation and decarboxylation reaction so carbon dioxide is not net carbon dioxide consumption is not there here so carbon dioxide consumption is zero so zero carbon dioxide is consumed and now how many molecules of ATPs are used so it means you need to look into how many melanyl coas that you have used so each melanyl coa will need one ATP by acetyl coa carboxylase so we have figured out that there are seven melanyl coas are used to make 16 carbon fatty acid it means you are to make palmitic acid you are using seven ATPs so we use seven melanyl coas seven atps and zero carbon dioxide and eight acetyl coa molecules 
in total for uh, in total for to make a 16 carbon fatty acid you really need eight acetyl coase if you break down eight acetyl coase into how many melanyl coase and how, how many acetyl coase then it means in fact we have used seven melanyl coa and one acetyl coa molecule that's how it is eight acetyl coa okay now let's move on to see how many number of carbon dioxide atps and nadph that you use to make 24 carbon lignoceric acid so 24 divided by 2 so you get 12 number here it means total number of acetyl coa that are consumed is 12 12 acetyl coa in total now in this 12 acetyl coa how many acetyl coa got in directly and how many acetyl coa got in the form of melanyl coa that's what is 12 acetyl coa here some of them will di directly get into the reaction some of them will get in as melanyl coa so in order to get that so 12 minus 1 here so that is 11 so you go 11 melanyl coa got into fatty acid synthase complex and one acetyl coa got directly in so it means 11 melanyl coa are used and it means 11 cycles are going on here so 11 cycles means 11 multiplied by 2 that is 22 nadph used 22 nadph molecules used and also to know the number of atps that are consumed so it is 11 melanyl coa it means you need to conduct 11 acetyl coa carboxylase reactions to get 11 melanyl coa so 11 atps are used so 11 atps are consumed here how many number of carbon dioxide consumed zero carbon dioxide consumed because net consumption of carbon dioxide is not there in fatty acid synthesis because every time carbon dioxide is released so with this our answer for the question is zero that zero carbon dioxide consumed 11 melanyl coa are used because 11 cycles are running 22 atps are sorry 22 nadph plus h plus consumed and 11 atps are consumed so the answer is 0 11 and 22 so there are two options here that is option a and sorry option b and option e so it is by mistakes i have given same options so that's a mistake there so you can take option b or option e as correct answer i hope uh, this video helped you to uh, refresh or briefly review fatty acid synthase complex especially in the form of how many acetyl coa needed how many melanyl coa needed how many NADPH, ATPs and carbon dioxides that are consumed. So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for regular updates. And if you have any comments or questions, don't hesitate to ask that question below in the comments. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you and take care.